left and you have a smoke in the middle and you have art on one side and any other player in the world on the other side like who who are you gonna pick nico okay who do you think is gonna win art art yeah it, it doesn't really matter you're gonna think he's gonna find oh, a way to trick get the question end. and no i mean it's just <laughs> to show like on vertigo with such these wide choke points and these smokes that always land even though you can watch him do a play a hundred times, push down the A-Ramp one million different ways, Sir. you can always find a new way to do it. That's the kind of creative mind that he is. And this is, for that reason, Art's Playground. A map that, if it was a best of one, I'd pick Furia over anyone else. But what we saw yesterday was MIBR throw this map away to Astralis after having a 14-8 to start. Facts. Now, on one, on one hand, that was really great practice for MIBR. On the other hand, they showed that they could do a lot. But on the third hand, Mm -hmm. They also gave a demo up for, for Furia to watch. So if they saw this coming in the demo, this could be one way for them to get an edge over a team that we don't know a lot about. Three hands to figure that out. Whew. Imagine the things you could do. Art posted up on tarps. Very slow play coming out of MIBR early, but Art actually making a ton of noise. I mean, everybody's going to hear this for the tease. Art actually gets just wrecked by Leo, completely sidelined. Now they're going to come sprinting in for their bomb plant. Henny challenges already. He will get a kill as the bomb goes down. Smoke to evacuate Leo from the site. There is a gap, so if he tries to run back, he could very well be caught. And Yuri, in the meantime, is working in from behind. But TRK is deep down here. This is a crucial duel, and he one-taps Yuri's face off. Now the smoke goes down on site, and you're going to start to see Made in Brazil get a little bit flustered. Vinny, he's trying to stick this, and he almost gets away, but kills across the kill feed. MIBR with the pistol. No, I don't want to get too excited, but MIBR are back. No. <laughs> just there like that. There are so many jokes right now about how MIBR have, like, after winning just, like, two maps <laughs> so far, are just, like, back. Like, everyone's excited about this roster. And I, I feel that way, too. I feel very excited about what you know in the future of this team now, just looking at them again with fresh face and a brand mean, new pair of eyes. If this is what they're coming in with, you know, they've set the bar high for themselves. For sure. Awesome first showing. So. Ooh, good play by Art. Too bad he's got a Zeus. He jumped across. Did they catch this? I didn't see it. Yes, says DJ. Okay. DJ knows all. So you don't want to get close to the Zeus. Just sit back. There's not much really he can do with it, other than you know hold on to this information. Not really anything more deflating than getting Zeus. That's for sure. Yeah, one of the worst feelings in all of Counter Strike, honestly. Oh. Okay. But uh, dying to USP Dinks is kind of up there at the top as well. KNG on for the anti eco ace. Three frags to his name. Leo looks to take the front runner position. Art comes barreling out with the Zeus. I love the energy. KNG still looking for the fifth. Don't you take it. Don't you do it. <laughs> Vinny's tucked and Vinny is dead. Second round for Made in Brazil, instantly on the board. So who are your standouts right now for uh, MIBR? Who's, who's your favorite to watch? It's got to still be VSM. Okay. He had a lot of hype coming into the roster. Uh -huh. uh, you know, he was, he was like, this seemed like his, his breakout opportunity. And uh, you know what? I'm going to throw KNG up there as well, just because we see him without a leash. You know, he's not underneath the the command of another leader. Mm -hmm. It seems as though he is back in control of his own reins. For sure. And that excites me. But so does this first gun round from Furia. Let's see what's in store. Vinny up top, trying to lock down mid, looking for the cross. TRK is going to be his first opponent. TRK very good at clearing things out like this, working alone. A couple of figures, actually. Leo and uh, TRK, both kind of comfortable to work parts of map control by themselves. Again, put together a very competent Inferno. Very scary Inferno versus Astrology. Oh, spot. But opening jewel. Here. And a second one for Yuri. Then Henny suppressing fire down the ramp. That's his spot. That is his spot. You will constantly see him floating around yellow tarps to short shelf to back shelf. VSM, well, he's trying to find entry on the B site, but 
He is dead. TRK will find impact as he works over, but don't forget he doesn't have the bomb. If he could get this crisp kill, then he still has a chance, but... Oh my god. Oh, he almost got punished by Yuri. Now given a second chance, Yuri crap walks over to the left, and now he's dead, One and more. it's all on Henny with the off. 40 seconds, and Vertigo is a playground when it comes to clutches like this. Holy smokes, Henny hasn't moved up at all. The bomb needs to get collected, and... This is so... He's trying to pull Henny forward. Jumping up mid would be the move. We'll see. Henny's actually moving around, and yeah, it works. He gets what he wants, so he potentially can flank here. Now, he just has to... He knows Henny's opping. He has to... I actually this. think he might have an advantage here, but we'll see. He has to clear close. Oh, oh, oh my oh, god! He doesn't have to clear close! He flicks into it! Execution! Four kills for TRK. 1v4 clutch to keep the flawless streak going on Vertigo. What is that? I thought he knew what was coming because he walked it back. Oh! But Henny did find a spot to actually get the first shot off, and TRK hits that, dude. And now you ha look at the look at the energy. The energy, is. yeah, the energy's that, not that going is a away. Fireball. That also steal. Yes, the economy stealer here. Just a one aug for art. A crazy round. A crazy, crazy round. That is a ball of electricity created out of thin air from TRK. And now it is going to bounce between the players of MIBR as they look to get themselves a fourth, just having to dodge the one AUG and already an opening kill into Vinny. Holy hell, man. Wow. All, all parts of that clutch, you know. Forget the last shot, right? Just he gamed him, every single one. I mean, a lot of it was mechan- I mean, even Yuri almost outplayed him. Walked around to the other side, got the dink off, and then he just hit the nicest shot back into him. Ice in his veins. What's that AUG do, Art? Wrong site. Nothing at this B site at all. It's a free plant. Will he even rotate it over is the question. We got a rifler, or sorry, an opera listening the whole time down the ramp. He's not spotting anything just yet. Kind of a dangerous spot for him, actually. I mean, he doesn't know. I mean... Sorry, we know he's he's pretty okay, but he's definitely worried about every kind of possible flank at the moment. But he'll get away five alive here for MIBR. That, man, holy that round. Yo, Fury, I have their hands full. Yeah, seriously. I mean, you look at the kind of the different play styles and how they're all peaking. Can't, I mean, they've all got very aggressive play styles. TRK is more like explosive to me than aggressive able to multi-frag so damn well. We saw him break open the B site versus Astralis when everybody was tucked into their own positions. Yeah. He gets some space and some quiet and he'll put he'll put the round together. He'll figure it out. Leo is kind of like their art almost. Even though KNG can be also pretty aggressive as a rifler, as an opera, excuse me. Leo is the guy sometimes by himself making tons of space. Yeah, we saw that on Arch of Inferno. Yeah. And then and then VSM. I mean, they just got so much unique stuff going for them. And still such an unknown quantity. Yeah, VSM's probably the, like, I don't know, is he even the best clutch on the team after that? I feel like he is, kind of, but... Mad. Just mad. Henny into his position. Three players at the base of the ramp. He's gonna tuck. And they walk right into that one. TRK, first casualty. Utility comes up to try and keep him back. But he will get a chance to escape. KNG on the other Whoa. side of it. He's yeah. going to be peeking over towards Elevator. Vinny, if he overstays his welcome here, if he peeks even a little bit. This is major progress for oh, KNG. Oh, he's KNG. locking them in. Yeah. No, he's going to give himself up. Oh, he responds, and then they get the follow-up kill onto Short, but they know Henny's still in this position. He's tagged and not yet bagged. Fighting for his life. Fighting for rotations. KNG, another! Dude, total shutdown on the A site. What are these kills? And what can K Serato do about them? He's gonna try and stop this bomb from winning out on B, but VSM in their spawn. 5-0 to the start of MIBR. Oh, just as you were spotting the angle they had cut off here, a, sh a couple shots go off, the adjustment is amazing. Yeah. And then this shot as well, he wasn't prepared for that. But neither was Art. Oh my God. Oh my God. You can't even analyze that.
I won't try. The kills he's not supposed to get. <laughs> the TRK kills yeah. he's not supposed to get. But absolutely ridiculous shots. I mean, ridiculous I saw him. Oh, wow. This one's fast. Art drops down to B. You know, I see KNG working up ramp, and I'm thinking to myself, like, dude, he's just going to get blindsided by Vinny. Yeah. Vinny had a chance to execute him. Oh, my God. VSM, what are you up to? Is he trying to? He's trying to recover the in there. He's trying to recover Art's gun. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Holy. Sh Huge risk to take. Yeah. But that op goes back. It's scary. Yeah. Could have traded his life, and then that would have given the second CT a weapon as well. This is smart. I, I think they just want to execute into this. Wow. Where they know the op is. However. Okay. Leo, a bit too quick on the draw. TRK will answer with a frag onto Henny. You know, you've got that ball of electricity I'm talking about, but if you're handling that, it can get out of control. If you think that off of one kill, you, you can maybe get a bit too aggressive. These are the sorts of rounds where you can't let Furia rob one back. And it was starting to look scary there with Leo just haphazardly jumping into the B site. TRK just looked away. Will have a chance to still fight versus Vinny. K Serato on the other side. TRK oh, gets man. them both. And now that leaves Yuri all alone. But he has played this patient. Now they know where he's at. And a one versus four, he is no more. That's a sixth round for MIBR. Some nasty shots by TRK. Nasty. Can't believe he doesn't even get off. Look how quick this is. Instant. That's a free perfect step. Not too wide. CT timeout called. Get yourself together is the call. Take a stress break, maybe. I mean, you had a four on one, and that turned into an eco against you. So it's not as if you were playing badly until the one before, right? The opening to the round was great. <laughs> That's what I'm trying to say. Maybe could have prevented that yeah, one. Yeah, prevented that one maybe a little bit. So what's our scoreboard tell us so far? Eight and two on KNG. Eight and one is TRK. Five kills Leo, four for VSM. Yeah. And Lucas floating low, but he's got the most assists, so be it. We check out the other side of the scoreboard. Henny at the top with four. K Serato, three. Yuri, two. Art not yet on the board, and this is supposed to be his playground. Yeah, absolutely. Seems like recess has been denied for the big bully. See how long it takes him to get into this. In the meantime, it's just continuous utility being chucked up and down the ramp. No significant damage comes from it. Yet. That's a missed smoke out of Made in Brazil. Furia, they can be the champions of fighting A, so to see MIBR. I like that. Taking a crack at mid. Mm -hmm. they, they lost their default big time he on the A that. ramp. Yeah. Audible's made by Vinny. He misses Ooh, his Molly Molotov. Missed. Yeah, he should jump back up. Oof. He's gonna challenge. Oh, nice! Vinny just cheats back with a headshot into TRK. Awesome opening here for Furia. Can they get their first round on the board? Missed shot. That's gonna give Leo a bit of space creation. There is no second CT to keep him back and pinned down. Henny actually takes the task into his own hands. Walks forward on the op. In fact, there's two players here from Furia and Made in Brazil have taken that one man from A to move him over. They could very well transition into this B split. You're going to have VSM coming up from ramp with Leo as KNG and Lucas look to split around from spawn. Art now down to a quarter HP. The off shot connects to the knees. And K Serato, he takes his path through smoke. Doubles back round. Buying time. Four seconds left. They can't win this. I don't think. Nope. No They time. missed the mark. They can't plant the bomb. I they don't know. They the mark. They don't run and grab it because K Serato dips through the smoke and they can't finish him off. So they wait till they get that kill. Wow. They needed to get the other player on the bomb instantly, and that's a round Fury will take all day. Okay, they'll take all day. I'm surprised they decided to double press here through A and B at the same time, but that mid control is what made it really scary. A nice opening kill from Vinny as well to help them out a lot, to take some pressure off, but what's scary is that re-aggression that came right away. Still, if I'm MIBR, I just tell myself, you chalk it up to time. That was nearly a 4v5 regardless. Double MP9 in this equation from Furia. Man, Kanji is on point right now. Wow, Leo. 
just run straight into Henny. Now they've got two CT stranded back on short shelf. He gets the favorable duel, but he's blinded. KNG with the op gets one. Lucas also on the kill feed. This is looking like MIBR in with a seven. No and we're money. talking seven of eight with no cash in the coffers. K Serato has to walk away, tail tucked, and hope to fight tomorrow. I need some more data, man. I need some more. I need to see some more MIBR versus other teams at this point. This is just all too confusing how they could be this good this quickly. Oh, it just looks so sick. And KNG is really just on point at the moment. Leo looks so dope. I mean, Leo stood out on his other teams, but not like this. No. This is insane. The level that he's playing at. So, Caserato, his days are numbered. That they are. They don't need to hunt him too hard, but they know exactly where he is. So, he's got the upgrade. That, yeah, he'll get the AK and move out and move back in. So, he's safe. Still That's going to be nice because they are piss poor here henny doesn't have much money the rest of them can try to buy yeah they can, Art will probably pick up an mp9 again actually gets tossed an ak that is half the timeouts from furia eight rounds deep that is so beastly man it's not every day that yuri will get a gun like that just straight on yep he's the guy in the 45 to bring two back you know if you're just going in to trade him you can't yeah. massages water bottle deliveries and my br have the support got each other's backs and they've got the tenacity in this first half man the, some of this aggression from leo like we see him jumping over construction without a player to trade uh -huh. that one gets punished but he doesn't give up on his task on his role on his ability to crack heads early art will be the man with the ak can he get his first kill of the map he has to provide something special for furia here in the ninth round or else MIBR will already finish this first half with an advantage no matter what. KNG on point with AWP. Player to his left, called out as he hits the dink. Yuri, he's got the opening kill. Pistols prevailing, and that fried grenade's fantastic. They know where both are and B, I think. MIBR, they've got to be nervous already, and they still haven't even dealt with either of the two AKs. Everybody from Furia comes sprinting in, smoke down. Hmm. They're going to stack up behind it. This could be the angle Art needs. He sees two Ts. Ducks back into the cover. They've done a good job of going oh. back when they need to. Uh, but they're, yeah, they're getting pulled forward. Case Rado looks for information. Oh That's my two. god, it gets brought back, yeah. Health advantage, though, still in the back pocket of Furia. 50 seconds on the clock. They could just leave. You could walk away and leave. Trying to bait out some kind of a shot. Trying to get the information. Flash with no response. Oh, my God. Lucas with the shoulder peak punish into Vinny. Yuri, he has revealed his hand. Did he shoot? I don't think so, in yeah, fact. He's, he's on the kill. He's, he, they know he was at B at one point. Oh, mid is mid is a great play. Yeah. Leave yeah. TRK at the base of this with Bomb. KNG plays contact. If KNG dies on B, Bomb runs to A, but he's got 20 seconds. So there is no exit route, Launders. This is the commitment. He sees him. Oh, 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 and he almost gives him a chance. But KNG gobbles him up. His 11th kill of the half. Ops out. Damn. They score that back. Did Furia overface too much on that anti-eco? I don't know. Dude, I don't think so, because think about the way Vinny peaks, man. It was barely. Look at this. Yeah. Like, I don't, like. It was already 3v3 at that point, though. He gave him the shot, but but is that wrong? Yeah. It's he barely showed him skin. That was already 3v3, though. It was like 5v3. At 3v3, yeah, I get it. Now you're bringing it back, but. Okay. Fast clash, though. No time to think about it. You've just got to move. No time to breathe, even. KNG already posted back on B ramp. He's got VSM to work inwards. K Serato takes to the top rope. And now Yuri's in position. TRK split wide open with the bomb down in the dirt. There you have it. Furio with a second. Okay, we're up. We're up. We're up. Okay, K Serato nicely done. Spray down from the from the site after he got spotted too. We see KNG keep po he keeps posting up on this angle, looking for K Serato's swing one side of the box or the other. Uh, this time around, Caserato's got no play. He gets spotted throwing the smoke down. They know not seeing any smoke can fly in from the left or right side. He has to be there. And then he jumps up top for a new angle. And I, I feel like K KNG was prepared for that, but not his teammate in front of him. 
man. They're, they're not going to stop this pace. This is nuts. Oh, boy. Somebody's going to have to gas out. Henny gets traded inside of middle by his bro. Leo drops bomb at the feet of the two men in B. But VSM takes a headshot back. Vinny kind of caught within the utility. KNG on the kill feed. Man advantage. But Yuri, he's got a hot flank. And VSM gets executed. Now, how do they get that bomb? Yeah, two at mid. One makes noise. That's to draw him away. KNG. This molly that goes down is interesting. Misses the map. Yeah. Falls downwards. Oh, Vinny, he tries to get aggressive through the smoke, but there's the backstab from Lucas. What? Flanks upon flanks and another smoke in. Yuri has to make the difference. He gets tagged up and fires back. Minute on the clock. Oh my god. I think Groove for this is the question. It's Yuri to make a play. We'll leave that bomb. Don't want to be too obvious about it. Instant headshot. Clean. Straight off. Free haircut from Vinny. From Yuri, excuse me. At what point does he question his flank? One on one. Yuri took this exact same route to get into the round. He's starting to question it. Gives his back up to spawn. Heard the utility. Dodges the flash. The cross is there from KNG. He falls to 8 HP. And Yuri's reposition could win this round. 20 on the clock. KNG. Oh! Gets popped! As Furia find a third. Beast mode by Yuri. Handles that 1v2 perfection, man. In these two-on-twos, MIBR have been splitting up. They've been going for these big flanks, making noise in one spot, walking alongside another, being very, very difficult to read. And Yuri's comfortable. He's got the vocabulary to read as complicated of a text as they can put down. That's a round they absolutely needed. <laughs> Art still 0 and 9. Curb by. Clapping in support. We are great. <laughs> <laughs> but it's finally, all the strats, boys. Finally, MIBR, they've got to give a round to just kind of cool off. I, I, I so respect the fact that they tried to play hardball. Oh, the grenade is so good. Yummy. Shin splints. They follow it up with a bit more utility. VSM will find one with the Deeg, but Henny with the wall bang. And there's a player down beneath him. Misses his shot, and down he goes to Leo. That's an off, isn't it? It is. And there's a second gun as well. TRK on the AK, straight up 2v2. Henny has done everything this round thus far. They, they want to wait because they want to make it seem like they could go back to B. Absolutely. Looks like they could just totally regress onto the A ramp. Fury has done a good job of going for flanks. We saw Yuri in the last round hit them from behind. Makes you wonder whether MIBR start to question if they'll shift. For all they know, Furia have the bottom of elevator already. And we haven't seen too many of those flanks come in for Furia, kind of surprisingly. No one's actually taken the risk of going all the way around. Even though MIBR have left it pretty open. Yeah, just Yuri once, that's it. Yeah. Leo's going to take point with Bomb. No frag to deny the bomb plant. He goes for the cross off flash. No impact nades. Oh, he gets the bomb down. And on the peak, he's dropped by Vinny. The clutch falls to the shoulders of TRK. No armor. Who better? And a reposition back onto the shelf. Now what? They've got a smoke to cover bomb and two defuse kits. They lay down the utility. This is going to start to fluster him, rush the process. This is a stick down to a second. They've got it already. Ah, they go for the, yeah, the full in. Nicely done from Furia. The one smoke they had, they didn't blow it too early. Crispy 2v2 and, of course, killing the default plant as well. Cost-effective round from MIBR, though. For sure. Oh, my God. Yeah, just forgetting that. That was an eco to begin with. They got the CTs where they still want them. Low cash. Yeah. They're dancing with death. Still, awesome little recovery here from Fury. A, a mini spree of rounds with three in a row already. Potential to close this half 7-8. Art the very best moral support he can be. Pushing down the A ramp, doing what he does. He lost Yuri. Now he has to perform. Uh -oh. This is actually very dangerous now because his position relies on Yuri to cover these angles. He's got Henny to help. But there's an op on each side. <gasps> and he's about to find the angle. Awesome shot from Henny. But Art still zero kills on the scoreboard as he gets shut down by Leo. And a 4v3 ensues to the favor of the T's. I love these late rounds into mid. It's just completely open. Uh, Henny's been good, though, on the rotate. Vinny's actually coming up. Mm-hmm. With a smoke flash from Elevator. 
TRK to challenge, and it's an instant headshot. Now it's Kay Serato on the bomb site, trying to lay down the lead, but VSM will trade his head, and 3v1 left over. Money is terrible. Oh my god, after because that ego. Because of the eco success. The last two rounds, Furia have saved three players in total. MIBR have set themselves up so well to have an absolute masterclass of a first half, genuinely gunning for an 11-4. Just disgusting. I want to take a look at their Astralis map from yesterday. Eight, seven halves. Oh, both ways to mm -hmm. go to OT. That's right. Okay. But a 14-8 lead at one point, I think you said. Yeah, 14-8 lead, yeah. Yeah, that was the... Uh, I guess their T side fell off. But it doesn't look like it's falling off right now. Not with a round like this one. Yeah. You know, that eco really set them up nicely. How is this possible? Through smoke. Just how it goes. You unload 45, 50, 60 bullets through that smoke. And a lot of the times, you can uh, you can get a kill. You're supposed to get a kill. You're supposed to get some damage. It is the nature of the beast here on the A ramp. Art knows what he signs up for. Smoke down ramp. TRK sprays. I believe Yuri. No. Okay, he's over on A ramp. They're gonna go for the B play. Bombs in tow. K Serato on the Deagle. MP9 on Vinny within the site. He crosses. It's a great distraction. But K Serato actually pops right up, and he gets dropped. Now Leo's gonna clear this bomb site. There is a CT in spawn, but they've already outclassed Furia in this 14th round. And if I'm the CTs, I save. Yeah. 10-4. 10-4, yeah, no retake possible. And the buy next round is not even gonna be great. They'll be able to rebuy grenades, and that's just about wow. it. Gonna be more SMGs probably to support with this. Lost bonus, two for Furia. Holy hell. What an energetic T side. I know. I mean. <laughs> so sick. Such a great matchup. And just so many insane rounds. KNG. Robbed, man. He hit the shot. Yeah. The metal pillar saves him. Yuri's going to get Leo, but does he expect KNG to be this close? I don't think so. Oh, what the heck? Still able to hang on, as is Arts. He almost got away with it. The op save, perhaps? Yeah, they'll bring that back into the 15th and final round of the first half and check out the cash that remains here for Furia. Made in Brazil has come into this half in sixth gear. Absolute terror, round after round, sprinting to the top of mid. The one round we've seen them slow down, essentially, was when they went with the eco. They had to wait the smokes out. Mm -hmm. And even once they decided to pull the trigger, it was action-packed. This entire half has been electric. But it does have to come to a close, here and now. What's the situation? Furia with an AWP, M4, MP9, and enough pieces of utility to slow things down at the start. But will MIBR even let them? They face Art's AWP, VSM goes down first, and we even have CTs feeling out the base of B as Yuri stands tall in mid. Mm, yeah, nice, a nice boost, nice new approach to mid. They've been catching a lot of lurks here, especially when the opening kill doesn't go the way of MIBR. They've been pushing out, squeezing into mid control. And nice to just have that in place early. So even though low on grenades, you know, Art taking 10 million entry attempts, and finally it's not Oh my god, that one. flash. Oh, they both dead? Oh! Leo, he was about to throw a smoke of his own, but the CTs dropped one, and he absolutely abused it. Lucas with a headshot, Vinny with a deagle, and Kay Serato by his side, You're just kidding. both trying to survive 50 seconds on the clock, and MIBR slowed down. Yeah, the nades are a bit awkward on the A site. The Molly doesn't go far enough. Stops them from being able to get the bomb down. Picks up the M4. And the smoke's got a gap. We'll just wait it out. Make sure there's no cover here. Like this play from MIBR. But in doing so, Vinny did get a gun. If that comes back to bite the T's, we'll know that this moment of caution, this momentary pause, could cost them. KNG on contact with AWP. Leaving one man to watch flank. But this is a good cohort from the T side, grouped up well. One flash from K Serato to try and help out. 
He gets a shot, Vinny, but he doesn't quite land it. Now we're in the post plant with KNG rattling off. Leo will close 16 and 9 at the top of that scoreboard. Um, seemed more like a fill in than a genuine prospect, and they are now five rounds away from being the most successful team from North America at the Blast Falls series. <laughs> nobody. It didn't even exist two weeks ago. Nobody would have expected this absolute tenacity, electricity, blood and fury from that first 15. And now they take to the CT side where we have to wonder what can Furia offer? What, what, what Furia will we get today, man? We've seen nothing but frustration out of them. We saw a nice comeback on Inferno, but uh, things have reset. I can't believe we're looking at MIBR in the pole position in this third map. With comfort. They just don't run out of gas. They look so fired up. Okay, the T's all over mid. Spread out like a spider web in all corners, looking for that B hit. Smoke down to mid, here's the B split. Yep, they're gonna find some footing. Vinny's got the one kill, TRK challenging down that B ramp. He's got an answer, and that hot flank from KNG could make the difference. He needs another headshot, Yuri's got the cover, but KNG snaps into Henny, and now it's him versus his brother and the leader of MIBR. Yuri instead rather hits the headshot. Oh boy, health advantage massive here for Lucas's favor, but Yuri has the chance to redirect. Damn, a way out. Nothing but clutch from Yuri. Pure 1v2s this map by him. A huge mind game at this moment. And Lucas, not moving is a gamble. Just like moving is too. And staying middle of the map could be just fine. I honestly, his spot seems it's catch all. If he goes back, the only thing he's worried about, of course, getting shot in the back of the head. Mm -hmm. it looks like Yuri has no intention Wow. to run it up to A. I like this position from Lucas. It, it takes into consideration anybody that would be flanking from A to B. I think the one thing he needs to do is mm -hmm. when he hears the bomb going down, he needs to, I would, I would say run because of how low Yuri is. Okay. Just make sure he can't get to a spot where he can shoot him in the side. And off of that, he walks. Yeah, so this means that Yuri can get into the position he wants to and at least get one bullet off for free if he plays it smart enough. We'll see if, if Lucas reads this correctly. If Yuri can land this flashbang perfectly with a peek, suddenly Lucas may not even see his death coming. He's walking in onto green. He's got the cover of the boxes. Now he's starting to stampede, making a lot of sound. The tap, and Yuri, he's just got to go for the peek here. He sees him and dies out. It's MIBR with a 12th round. Well, one hell, one hell of a, an attempt. That's actually nuts. Lu Leo, well, first of all, we got to shine the spotlight on KNG. Hell yeah. <laughs> that that flank's so all fast. All his first shots onto Yuri, kills his teammate behind him, looking to just ice him out, coming out on the flank. Yeah, it's everything for them. Four rounds to go, and they win this series. Not a, not a, not a situation anyone expected. Well, except us. Yeah, except us. <laughs> <laughs> us and uh, Abdo, Twitter user. Hell yeah. Shout out to Abdo. Community predictions coming in hot. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, let's not get ahead of ourselves. I really, I mean, if this is the best of one, I would have picked Furia all day. Yeah, why on, not? On man. Vertigo. It's, it's crazy to think that they're, you know, MIBR. As good as they were yesterday versus Astralis, mm -hmm. mind you. You know, this, this run so far in the event is map wins on Nuke and Vertigo, perhaps over Astralis. Overtime loss, man. That one was close. Crazy good showings. But this series, to push Furia into the showdown, alongside EG and Liquid, who's already waiting there because they forfeited this phase of the tournament. Man, the competition just gets better and better. But we'll see. Furia can sink their teeth into the A site. We get the callback from MIBR. Three members in position. And Leo goes down for free. KNG answers. And Lucas, well, he's trying to choose between committing to the yellow wall or going back by tarp. KNG, another headshot. And Furia's stagnation. Let yet to leave an impact. They just wait and wait and wait and allow the CTs to hold position, now even furthering 
the difficulty for Furia. They've gone ahead and lost the bomb. TRK spots the shoulder, and it all falls on Yuri. 38 HP, 30 seconds on the clock, yeah. and nothing to do here. They kind of had no choice, you know. They've got to they've got to win around. So, you know, not so surprised to see a force here from Furia, but it does mean a lot for them to lose it because they might continue to make r risky investments. And uh, Yuri just saw a foot, but I don't think anyone told him. Pretty sure that was off X-Ray. Anyways, the save is good. Yuri been really strong late round player coming in. Super clutch. Kaser Auto was putting up extremely strong holes, it seemed like, on, on the B site. And there was a, quite a bit of attention. I feel like it was a very diversified um, game plan for MIBR in that first half. Attention sure. to A early on, those late mid squeezes, some full on B hits. Again, just so impressed by how much, how they, how, how well they've got their act together with, in such a short period of time. And of course, the added advantage of just, you know, being a brand new team every single day. Hard to read, yep. hard to play against. Most certainly so. Frag grenades sailing down onto the T's. They just want a little bit of ramp control. Is that too much to ask? Leo finding Vinny through smoke, and he's about to run through it himself, trading spots with two T's. Caserato punishes. But oh, the lineup from KNG Lee nearly connects. A 2v2 ensues. Now's a great time for Furia to fall silent. Minute 15 on the clock. I kind of want to tell VSM that maybe he shouldn't be running this far over TRK in a good anchored position, but Furia are going to use that little bit of information and run with it. Love this fast rotation over to the B site. Awesome. We'll get a post-plant situation now. Yuri can spot over the top of the smoke. That's huge. Oh, but he misses it by a hair. Decent made. Goes a bit far. Drops Caserato to 58. 5 HP less than that of Yuri. Full bars on both of MIBR's player. He oh. saw the head. He sees the shadow. If he jumps up, he is done. Yuri does not know. How long can they spend here, though? That's the issue. Is Yuri thinking about going wider is the question. They want to just hold this, wait for a mistake, but it's not coming just uh, yet. They have to go. And they're not quite sure where that second man is at. Damage done to Yuri. Case Serato playing with it. VSM looking in for the clutch. 9 HP to make the difference. There's the kill. Do they have but time? Is there time? That's extremely close. Real close. It's turning green, baby. Woo! <laughs> they nail it. No way. Four rounds. Ten round lead. A buyback on the cards from Furia. 0.3 second clutch. Oh. Heartbreaker, breathtaker. Holy hell. That's exciting. I mean, yeah. I mean, they, they already had their wedding. Now they're just opening gifts, right? So <laughs> it's exciting, but they, 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 they have a lot to celebrate at this point. And it's not going to stop, man. Oh, man. Not even giving Art a chance. Immediate clash on short shelf. He goes back in for second servings. Yuri dropped to two. Sandbags control here from the CTs. Go ahead and wrap that short shelf. They're going to play right into the hands of Made in Brazil. KNG sees utility sail over. Leo has to make his move. He reveals his hand. Still, they spam shots through smoke. And he ducks out for now. And Yuri, even able with such little health, to get back onto the kill feed. 3v3 ensues. That frag could blow Yuri into tomorrow. They're waiting for that tap. Mm-hmm. And Caserato's gonna go for it. There's the nade. There's the damage. Not the end of the world. Smokes go up, though. Not utility left here for the T side. Open lines for KNG to work. It's gonna be all about him now. Oh, and Vinny's gonna give it to him. And a a wall bang for the bomb plant? Oh, he didn't hear it, I don't think. He waits. K. Serato attempts to cross back. There is nobody preventing him from doing this. They <laughs> want that third player over. But he actually holds the line launders. He doesn't yeah. go all the way back. He wants his gunfight here oh. and now. The flash goes high. Yuri's dead. Here's K. Serato's attempt to answer. Can he get them all? He's got the first two. He He's know. pinned into cover. VSM focused forward, but K. Serato goes for it, and he falls. 15 rounds for MIBR. Only one to go. Oh, my God. Another clutch. Man, such a great attempt by K. Serato.
Damn. Hats off. Clean so shot. So close. Yeah. And that's the heartbreaking thing about this scoreline. 17 kills on Yuri. 13 frags for Kay Serato. Henny on 11. There have been rounds. W would have made this so much closer. But they have to watch it fall between their fingertips just round after round. I don't know if this is true, but I feel like VSM has not lost a 1v1 yet. And I think he's won two 1v2s, something like that in this series. He's been a monster in the clutch situations. Let's see if Love this how is it. Moves. KNG misses the off shot. Second one also a stray, but a good spray from VSM connects into Art. Damage done to Serato. TRK is on the kill feed. Henny finally answers, but that is all that there is for Furia. Vinny with a 1v4 or this is it. Furia eliminated to the showdown if he can't do it all. And so far, so good. Molly at his feet means he has to walk away. Minute 15, 14 HP. You'd think this would never be possible, but it's Vinny and he's in the clutch and they actually walk away from him. So he has to make a move. Another situation where the bomb down is in, in the open and it really is just a playground for the clutching player as well as the two in the 2v1. So much movement can be made. So many rotations can be made. You have to give respect to the player who's left over. Getting shot in the side of the head is easy. Vinny potentially upgrades to the op. It could be a liability, but he can't play this standard and win. So many corners to clear. So many positions he could be punished from. <laughs> Isolates out CT spawn. Screw elevator. He needs to look on to mid where the bomb is. TRK on the box. Oh, he just missed it. And now this is going to give a chance for Vinny to get close. I think Vinny saw him. He's going to have to do some combat opping or hope to steal that bomb. He takes a bit more damage, and that is it. 16-4 from MIBR on Vertigo of all places. A deserved pop-off as they came to Europe with such little expectations around them, shattering what people would have thought a complete and total write-off that they have now rewritten. Ladies and gentlemen, there is a new Brazilian hot dog, and it is MIBR.